We received a power supply for a Vizio 4K TV, and the customer was saying that it was not powering up. So let's take a look and find out why. With these Vizio power supplies, I like to inspect the capacitors at the top of the board first because that's some, one of the more common issues we see with these boards. And if we take a look, let me zoom in, we can tell that some of the capacitors are bulging at the top while others are very flat at the top. That indicates that these four capacitors are bad and need to be replaced. Now, as a rule of thumb, typically with these types of boards, we do want to replace all of the capacitors, so that's what we're gonna do. With this model TV, which is a P702UI-B3, we will see these capacitors over here bulge, as well as these two, and sometimes this row of five at the top as well. We have at the top 470 microfarads and 35 volts, uh, these two as well, and then finally the uh, four, five, six, seven over here are 1,000 microfarads, 16 volts. So we're actually gonna replace three, four, five, six, seven, 14 capacitors in total on this board to repair it. So I'm gonna get started on the 1,000 microfarads, 16 volts capacitors, and we have some silicone. I'm gonna just use this little spatula tool to remove them. So I just got all of my capacitors loose and separated. Now let's flip the board over and start desoldering. So I moved, I flipped the board and I moved it actually off of the table so that the capacitors were not hitting the table. And I'm gonna apply some solder at the same time as desoldering. Oh. And my first capacitor actually fell through on the ground. So there we go. Let me see, I might not actually have to add more solder. Perfect. Okay, and then our last two. Okay, and that's our first seven capacitors. Again, these were the 1000 microfarad, 16 volts. Before we replace the capacitors, we're gonna just test them with this ESR meter. Now, of course, they're bulging and I can actually see some of the electrolytic fluid leaking out of them. But just to confirm, we'll go ahead and do that test. And it does say in circuit or leaky, ESR equals 40. So obviously this one is bad. And let's just compare it to one of the good ones that we're gonna be using to replace it with. And then this one says uh, cap equals 1,008 microfarads. So it's off by eight microfarads, which is well within our tolerance. And then ESR, the bad one was saying 40. This one is saying 0 0.08 ohms. So that's what we wanna see. That means we have a good capacitor here. Now, just for, uh, just to see, we have one of the capacitors we removed that is not bulged. Let's just measure it and see how that one reads. So this one's actually reading okay. It's saying 1,046 microfarads and ESR equals 0 0.04. So technically that's good, but because all of these capacitors are known to fail eventually, we're just gonna replace all of them. Now that we cleared all seven of the capacitors out, I'm gonna just do a little bit more cleanup, remove some of the extra silicone that's left over on the board. So now that we've cleaned up our area, we're gonna go ahead and put our new ones. And as you can tell, there is a black bar on the right side, as well as a negative symbol, and then a positive on the other side. 
You can match that up with your capacitor. One side will have that bar that will have the negative symbol and it will also happen to be the shorter lead. So that's uh, another way you can tell. The longer lead is positive, the shorter one is going to be negative. So that's how we know our polarity. We're going to go ahead and push that through and lay it down and do that six more times. So I wasn't able to actually put a capacitor in this one. It looks like I can't. So most likely I made a mistake soldering and I have something blocking the hole. So let me solder these for six first and then we'll come back and check to see why I'm not able to solder, or push through the last capacitor here. Flipping the board over, I'm holding the capacitors in one hand on the other side and I'm just bending the pins so that it is easier and they'll hold. So now I don't have loose capacitors, they'll hold without falling through. It'll make it easier for me to solder on the other side. And this time around, I'm just gonna be using my soldering iron. Now, let's uh, zoom in a little bit more on that last one. And as you can tell, it looks like I just didn't desolder some of the solder. So that's why I wasn't able to push that last capac capacitor through. So let's go ahead and clean that up. And now we should be able to put our last capacitor and we can. Perfect. Same thing, I'm gonna bend the pins outwards to help lock it in so that I can more easily solder it in. And finally, we're just gonna go ahead and cut the excess We just finished with the 1000 microfarad 16 volt capacitors, so now let's go ahead and work on the 470 microfarads 35 volt capacitors. Same as before, using the little spatula tool, I'm going to gently pry up the capacitors off of the board. And you gotta be careful, it looks like I did hit this jumper on the other side. I didn't damage it, but I did bend it, so just be aware of that, just be careful. And if you don't have one of these, you can also use uh, pliers like these guys and just twist them off. Just like that. And same as before, we'll go ahead and flip the board over and start the desoldering process. Okay, and that's our next seven. Same as before, we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup, removing the old silicone now that the capacitors are removed. And same as before, we have our negative that we're gonna line up. Uh, again, the shorter lead is negative, the longer lead is positive. And again, we're gonna just remove the excess of the legs, clip those off. 
And that's it. So that's how you replace the 14 capacitors on your 4K Vizio P702 UI-B3 model. If you have any questions or comments, let us know below. As well, if you have any questions on how to diagnose your TV or if you didn't have any bulge capacitors, we'll have a diagnostic video linked at the end. If you found this video helpful or useful, leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.